Hey guys, it's Jennifer Makeup by Ren Ren, and if you want to see my video on the 2011 New York Makeup Show Part 1, stay tuned for more. Hey guys, so I'm back with another video, and it's a little different setting, and it's because I'm in my bathroom. I happen to be filming a brush washing video. So that's why I'm here and decided to just might as well film another one. So I wanted to talk to you guys about an amazing event I, I attended recently, which is the 2011 New York Makeup Show held by the Powder Group. And it was so much fun. And I just wanted to do two videos. This one will be more on the experience, um, about the makeup show, about the class I taught. And the second video will be on my haul because they're just too, there's too much to cover. So I wanted to tell you guys that I came or I went to the um, New York Makeup Show and Graftobian, one of my favorite makeup brands, um, decided to sponsor my visit up there. So I went with the intention of um, manning the Graftobian booth. Um, my job was to meet people, um, color match them. I have made over models. I basically was at the booth both days. And I also had the chance to teach um, a class. So it was really cool because that was on my definite, like. That was on my vision board to attend a conference and teach a class, so it was really cool. So it was pretty much for work, but I had the chance to do a little shopping, which will be in part two, and to meet a lot of awesome fellow bloggers, YouTubers, and like my readers and um, followers and everything. So I'm gonna tell you about my experience. I'm gonna try and make it quick, because this is my second time doing this video. The first time was way too long. And make sure to watch the entire video because I'm gonna have a giveaway. Okay, so basically I was there from um, Saturday to Tuesday and it was really cool because I flew in from Atlanta to New York and my mom actually is from Orlando and she also flew up and we don't get a lot of time to spend together. I usually only visit my family once a year at Christmas. So she wanted to come and meet me and I thought it was really cool. It was also an opportunity for her to spend some time with me and see me really do makeup because she really had no idea. So we get there and I meet John and Eric from Graftobian, we go to dinner, and then it's time for the makeup show. So both days I was at the booth and like I said, I was on my feet all day. It was actually pretty tiring, but really a good experience. Um, like I said, I had two models at the booth both days and they were there and I gave them makeovers. Um, I, I talked with different customers and explained, you know, the, the products. I met a lot of subbies, took a lot of pictures. I did a lot of makeup too, like I color matched and I did a couple of looks on various people coming by. And then at night, I would go out with my mom because like the first day she just decided to stay in the hotel the whole day because she didn't want to be like lost in the city. So it was really tiring because I would be up from like 6 a.m. to like 6 p.m getting ready and going to the makeup show. And then from like 8 p.m. to midnight, I'll be hanging out with my mom. Oh, so exhausting. But we really got to see New York. We went to the Empire State Building, went to Times Square, to Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. We also saw a Broadway play, Mary Poppins. So I'll have pictures of that on my blog. And um, so what else, what else? Um, there are so many people there. It was actually a really amazing experience. Like. Just meeting everybody, meeting a lot of celebrity makeup artists that I am such fans of. Like I met Sam Fine, I met Johnny Lavoie, and like I met a lot of gurus I've never um, had the chance to meet in person. Erin from Skinless Beauty, of course Purse Buzz, Encore Makeup, um, Queen of Blending were there. I met a lot of other bloggers I've been meaning to meet for a long time. Oh, I also met DR Brooklyn. Um, I met Kia from Yummy411. I met James James Beauty, like a whole bunch of people. And I tried to get pictures of everybody. I didn't. Honestly, I was working in the booth though, so I couldn't really take that many pictures, but I got some and some people sent them to me and they'll all be on my blog. So it was really good. And you know, if you ever see me at these kind of events and makeup shows or whatever, just come up to me. Like I'm really, really easy to talk to. So I know I got a couple of people saying, I was too shy to come up to you. I'm like, just, it's just me, it's not a big deal. So it was really fun. There were so many vendors there and all these amazing classes. And I was kind of sad because I didn't have time to go to any of that. I was working, you know, but I did have about 30 minutes to shop um, and that will be in part two. So like I said, I was there with Graftobian and I was able to teach a class. So that was so nerve wracking. I was really scared nobody was going to come to be honest, but it ended up being full. There was standing room 
only people were standing up watching so thank god but basically i taught a class on what color am i and i taught people how to use the graftobian creams um cream foundation powder foundation airbrush like i taught them how to color match how to fix if you don't color match correctly and how to use all those different forms of makeup and it was really good so um if you didn't have a chance to see the um see the class i'm going to have a giveaway which will help you out so i really want, quickly want to show you some new products i did get from graftobin i reviewed a bunch of their stuff in the past but these are brand new products i've never used so i wanted to show you guys some of them are new and some of them aren't um first off this is brand new it's called the um ultra lights palette so a lot of times um, foundation companies don't go that light and if they do it's really weird looking like a lot of them have white in there um, if they do have something it's like they have a white mixer and a lot of times when you go really fair it just starts the colors don't look realistic so graftobian developed a palette for super ultra light shade so this is like the nicole kidman's really really pale complexion and these are actually all realistic skin tones and they have cool shades neutral and warms in here so if you have a problem finding a foundation because you're very pale or if you have pale clients this is a really good option and this palette alone is only like 20 bucks so um really cool to have in your kit and like they go from graftobin goes from really really light to really dark and you really there is no shade that you can't find for somebody so that's really cool and i'm really excited to have this in my palette because i have run into occasions where i've tried to put foundation on somebody and it's too it's still a little bit too dark for them so this is really cool the ultra light palette um i also have the lip gloss palette i never had this before so it has five shades from like kind of a light to more of a plum I actually really like it because I'm familiar with this shade, which is a vanilla spice. It's in their Super Cream Lip Palette. And I use it a lot on top of every color. And it's just convenient to have a palette with lip gloss because the whole tube thing, it's a little bit, it takes a little bit extra time, but just scooping it out of here is really convenient. I also finally have the other blush palette. This is a cool blush palette. I have the warm one already. And this one is really pretty blushes. So you have like more cool tones, so you have like the bubblegum pinks, more like a rosy pinks, um, brownish pink, bright, bright pink. And this, these blushes are really good. So you have eight blushes here in one palette, and now I have this and the warm, and I'm set with blushes. They're very pigmented, they're not, they're not like overly pigmented where you can't use them, and it's weird. So these are just awesome blushes to have, like really, really good. Another new product that I have is a brow palette. So this is pretty new and I really was like excited because a lot of times what I would do is just use eyeshadows for my brow colors. And this one has really realistic looking brow shades. And this is a huge palette for brows. So honestly, I would use this for like eyeshadow too. I would even maybe use it for contour. But this is what we have here. We have golden blonde for blondes. You got charcoal smoke, which is good for dark hair and even like gray hair and you have a chestnut brown which i like to use on myself more of a warm brown for like lighter hair tones and you have soft blonde another blonde color for really light bronze and you have auburn worn auburn for redhead the mid-tone brown which is good for like people with dark hair in general and it's kind of on the cool side and you have ultra dark brown which is for black hair because you never want to use black on anyone you want to use a dark brown and then you have deep taupe which is another cool good shade like that i would actually use on myself for like brown hair so this is a really good palette i already used it as you can see these two were my colors and i mix them and it works really good and i combine it with a little um, um brow pencil just to kind of keep it really nice and natural looking so lastly, like I mentioned, if you didn't have a chance to check out my class, um, I was, you know, because not everybody can make it to the New York Makeup Show, you know, people are, are all over the place. So, um, Graftobin has this DVD called HD Makeup 101, and they were selling this, and they sold a whole bunch of these at the show. And basically, this is a DVD which shows you how to do foundation, how to do it for HD, it shows you how to use everything from the cream foundation to the airbrush. So if you are a makeup artist and you don't, you know, you don't have the opportunity to attend classes to go to school, but you want to have real hardcore learning, 
this is awesome and I actually have one that I'm saving for myself because you should, you should always take the opportunity to learn and to grow your skills and knowledge. And the person who is on this is Susan Patterson. If you have ever heard of paintandpowderstore.com, she's an Emmy Award winning makeup artist. I heard um, a blog TV with her once with, um, she was talking about color theory and different lights and the lighting and the different light spectrums. And I was like, whoa, I had no idea what she was talking about, but she knew her stuff. And listening to her, it made me realize like, I really need to step my game up and learn about these different sciences behind makeup. So this is awesome for those of you who really want to learn how to do makeup properly, learn about lighting, learn about how to do um, HD makeup. So this is 63 minutes of knowledge right here. So I wanna give this away to people who really care about learning. So I have five of these to give away, because Eric from Graftoman said, why don't you give some of these away? I was like, oh, perfect, I'll give it in a video because not everybody could t attend my class at the makeup show. So I'm gonna give away two on this YouTube page, two on my blog, and one on Twitter. So all you have to do is, you can, you can enter in the multiple um, mediums. Just make sure to, on this video to leave a comment, tell me why you'd like to win, make sure you're a subscriber and I'll pick two from here. You can leave a comment on my blog, make sure you follow my blog, and then I'll pick two winners from there, and I'll do a Twitter giveaway, and what I usually do is, I'll do it usually on a Friday, and I'll say, who's ready for a Twitter giveaway? I'll give you guys a heads up, and I'll do like a trivia question, and the first person to answer, who is also following me on Twitter, will win. So really easy, um, and yeah, it's open up internationally. I'll mail you the DVD. And that's it. So thank you again for watching and thank you to Eric and John from Graftopia for hosting me at the makeup show. It's a, it was a really amazing, amazing experience. And if you wanna see the um, pictures from like my time in New York to um, my pictures with other people at the show to the booth, like I have a whole bunch of cool pictures and it will be on the blog post that will be in the description box. And then also make sure to stay tuned for part two, which is the makeup show haul, which I'm sure you guys are really excited to see. So thanks again for watching. Check out makeupbyrunrun.com for a full post with pictures. And until next time, have a great night. Ciao, fellas.